find someone every day who you can say a kind word to. That's the challenge. Okay, everyone, that's the challenge. I want you from now until the end of the year to find someone, one person or more, if you're like me, you just like to say nice words to everyone. You just, you know, it's just free flowing. It's just a part of who I am. Then you would just find that person, somebody that you don't know. Let's try it with a stranger. Find a stranger that you don't know and say something kind to them. Welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Dr. Katherine Constant and I am the author of the book, Lady Wisdom Speaks. I want to talk to you today about the power of our words and I also want to speak to you about the blessing. I was listening to Joel Osteen um, a couple of days ago and I heard him talk about the blessing. He gave a blessing and I think if you ever watch his show, you'll notice that at the end of each of his broadcasts, he then blesses his congregation. He speaks a word of faith. He speaks a word of prosperity and joy over the people. He speaks the blessing. And there is a lot of power in his words because he is the representative of God. He is right now the head over his people at his Lakewood church. So when he says, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, and may the Lord's face shine upon you, may you have success on the job and at work and experience protection and prosperity, and I bless you in the name of Jesus, then he says, go on out there and be blessed. When he says that, He's setting the tone for his people for that week so that they can walk in the blessing. I am just so thankful that we are able to speak life into our children and speak life into our family. When we speak words that are, uh, are uplifting, letting our children know that they can be who they want to be, that they can overcome adversity, that they can be blessed, that the Lord is blessing them. Those words carry a lot of weight. And it's amazing because on Saturday I met with some other believers and we were talking and it just came into my spirit that our words carry weight. Our words carry weight. And that's the the thing that I see too with Lady Wisdom Speaks. When Lady Wisdom Speaks, uh, in the Bible, her words carry weight. What she has to say can either lead you to success or it can lead you, um, if you don't listen to her words, it will lead you into, um, into folly, you know? And then, then when she uses that word, don't, you don't want to be stupid. If you don't, if you don't accept reproof, then you are stupid. You know, and for me, the word stupid was such a harsh word. I mean, wow, that's what she's saying. But she is warning, warning us about um, going the wrong way. And our words, her words of life, her words for success, is there for us. So we want to bless one another. So let us pray. And I want to bless you. And I want you to know that you are wonderful, that you're beautiful, and that you're God's gift to the world. So go on out there and shine and let the world know that Jesus Christ is Lord. You be that blessing for someone. You say something that will uplift and encourage another person. And as we continue to do that, we'll see a change in our environment and in our atmosphere. And that was another key thing in our meeting that we can set the atmosphere around us. What we say, our words carry so much weight that our words can set the atmosphere and it can birth either destruction or it can birth life. What do we want to bring forth? What do we want to see manifested in our lives? Do we want to see life manifested? Then we need to speak words of encouragement. We need to declare words of prosperity. We need to declare words of joy and peace and love. That's what we need to declare. So let us pray. 
Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this revelation that you have given us, that we can speak forth life in other people and life in our own lives by declaring and speaking words of truth, your truth, Lord Jesus. Your truth is that we have life through you. You've given us life, abundant life, overflowing life, Lord. And if we just call upon you, lean on you, press into you, that we can receive love, joy, peace, contentment. We can get understanding all that we need. We can be successful in all that we do. So we thank you, Father God, for this opportunity to live life to the fullest. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah, why you singing Hosanna?
encouragement. That's what we've been thinking about, words of encouragement. What kind of words have you been putting out there? Have your words been encouraging words? Have your words been healing words? There's so much power in our words, especially with our children. What you say to them can make a difference. And we can build confidence in our family members by speaking words of love, speaking words of joy, speaking words of encouragement, telling them how beautiful they are, telling them how smart they are, telling them that we love them for who they are and how they are. Allowing me to speak words of life into your life because that is the goal of my life. With my book, Lady Wisdom Speaks, my desire is to share the word of God with you to help your life to be better, to give you healing words, to give you words of encouragement and to see you be the best that you can be, that you can live life well. Hallelujah. Discovering who you are and what you're all about. Life is a discovery. Yes, it is. It, it takes a little work and a little effort. But with God on your side, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Hallelujah. That the joy of the Lord can be your strength. That you can overcome adversity and triumph. That Jesus, when you exalt him, Jesus is exalted. The devil is defeated. And you can have the victory over everything in your life and all experiences that make become and people's words that may come to try to destroy you you can live live life to the fullest because of what God has said about you that you are blessed that you are special that you are his creation and that he wants you to be all that you can be and that's what Lady Wisdom Speaks is all about and Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy this channel this channel is all about life and words of encouragement so let me just read this scripture to you found in my book on page um, session number 47, a word of encouragement. It says, anxious hearts are very heavy, but a word of encouragement does wonders. Proverbs 12, 24. Hallelujah. So thank God for the words of Lady Wisdom. The words that we find in Proverbs helps us to grow wiser each day. The knowledge gained by studying the wise words of Lady Wisdom has empowered me to look at life from a different perspective. I am much more aware of my words. Proverbs 12.25 states, Anxious hearts are very heavy, but a word of encouragement does wonders. And this is my prayer written in my book. Dear Lord, help me to be that voice of encouragement to an anxious world. Amen. And that is the desire of my heart, that this channel, this channel will be a channel that gives words of encouragement to people who are feeling anxious, to this world that's uh, there's so many negative words going forth, that we want to be that ray of hope. We want to shine forth God's goodness to this world and to you. Hallelujah. Let the world know that Jesus is the answer, that we can walk in love, that we can shine and be a blessing. Well, if you like this channel, then like, share, and subscribe. Hallelujah. And the challenge is to say a good word. Tell someone something good. Encourage another person around you, especially someone who looks like they're down and out and they're anxious. I am challenging you to say a good word today. Hallelujah. We need it. We need some good words in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Give that word of encouragement. And if you need some more encouragement, turn on to Joel Osteen. He's talking about healing words in his channel. He says um, that there are healing words. Our words carry power. Our words carry weight. Our words carry healing. And I agree with him. According to Lady Wisdom in, in the book of Proverbs, she is agreeing with him. She is saying the same thing, that our words carry power, our words carry weight, our words carry healing. Hallelujah to those that are If you've been a very negative person and you've said words that are hurtful to others, you can change your language. You can turn things around by starting to find someone 
every day who you can say a kind word to. That's the challenge. Okay, everyone, that's the challenge. I want you from now until the end of the year to find someone, one person or more, if you're like me, you just like to say nice words to everyone. You just, you know, it's just free flowing. It's just a part of who I am. Then you would just find that person, somebody that you don't know. Let's try it with a stranger. Find a stranger that you don't know and say something kind to them. Yes, just say a kind word, you know, and then um, think about how you're feeling after saying that kind word and watch that person's face, watch their reaction. See if they smile, if they doubt you. And if they doubt you, then for force it on them. Just keep telling them the positive word. Just keep saying the good thing to them until they smile, until they agree with you. And then move on. Yes, let's do that. I think that's the challenge. How many of you are willing to go on the challenge with me? Christmas time again The spirit of praise fills the atmosphere Up in music sweet Carols playing everywhere The holidays are here and it is time to get ready for Christmas Hello and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Dr. Catherine Constant and I'm the author of the book Lady Wisdom Speaks and Lady Wisdom Gives a Party. So I decided to go on out and to do some Christmas scouting out. I decided that I'm going to go on out and go to the stores and start to look for Christmas decor. Christmas ornaments. And so I visited TJ Maxx and I also visited um, the Dollar Tree. Because surprisingly enough, in the Dollar Tree there are so many different Christmas um, decorations and things that one can do, some DIY uh, projects that one can create from the Dollar Tree store. So come with me as I take a little trip, just to scout it out, just to see what's up. It is time for Christmas and time for Christmas ornaments and putting up the Christmas tree and decorating and making the place look fest festive. So come with me as we go and take a little trip to the dollar store and also to TJ Maxx to see what's up. All right. I'm here in TJ Maxx and they have such a large assortment of all of the Christmas things that are coming out. It is so beautiful. If one wanted to decorate, 
They definitely have a great time decorating for Christmas. Look at this. I like this. Joy. And it smells so beautiful. Look at that pillow. Believe. Enjoy. Hmm. Amazing. It's also a little overwhelming that Christmas is here. Well, you know it. Hmm. We'll be singing jingle bells. Christmas time again. The spirit of praise fills the atmosphere. Up in music swing, carols playing everywhere. People in the Christmas spirit, you can feel it. Look at the moon, smiling bright. Love watching over us tonight. And by the way, this is what the garden looks like. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. How is your Christmas shopping coming along? Are you decorating for Christmas or for Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or any of the different holidays that are in this time period? I'm wishing you a happy holiday and many great blessings as you plan to be with your family and to celebrate. You celebrate the good times and enjoy each other. Thank you for watching. Bye. We want to give thanks for everything and I want to give thanks for the ability to plant the seed of a pumpkin to see it um, develop and grow. I'll show you how my two pumpkins are coming along. They're doing very very well over here. Soon I will harvest them, bring them in with the others, and produce a pumpkin for me to eat, to share with my family and my loved ones. I decided that I was going to uh, make a pumpkin pie. from the pumpkin that I grew in my garden. I want to make a pumpkin pie with this pumpkin. And I want to uh, puree this pumpkin myself. And I found this recipe on YouTube and I really want to try it out. I also have this butternut squash here too. Yes, this particular garden, Catherine's garden. And um, I decided that I was going to think of the concept of from garden to table. 
I want to make a pumpkin pie with this pumpkin. A season of thanksgiving and being grateful and gratitude. The idea of being grateful, yes, being grateful for all the good things that God has done for us. And in doing that, I'm producing and coming up with something that I've never done before, which is to make an original pumpkin pie. Not a store-bought pie, because I usually go to the store and pick up a pumpkin pie. But no, a pumpkin pie that I have made and created from scratch, from the planting the seed all the way through harvesting the pumpkin and now making the actual pumpkin pie called Catherine's Garden of LWS. That's Lady Wisdom Speaks, Catherine's Garden of LWS. And you'll see a lot of gardening videos that will show you how I grew this pumpkin. I had some real great discoveries today in the garden. And one of them is a pumpkin. Yeah, my very first pumpkin. I've never planted pumpkins. I don't know anything about pumpkins. I just found a pack of pumpkin seeds and planted them. And lo and behold, there it was. As I was actually cutting the squash, the butternut squash plant, I saw the pumpkin before me. It was almost like a treasure being found and it filled me with so much joy. This is my harvest this morning. My first pumpkin in my whole entire life. I have a pumpkin here. Isn't this fabulous? Look at it. It was growing in the front. And I'm just impressed by it. It's fire takes that in it, and welcome to our kitchen. We've got a quick video for you this time. We're showing you how to make homemade pumpkin puree to be used in pies, pancakes, and more. Start with a small baking pumpkin. The label usually says sugar pumpkin or pie pumpkin. Larger carving pumpkins like the ones during Halloween are not ideal for this. Cut the pumpkin in half by piercing a sharp knife down one side, turning and doing the same on the other. Well, that's what I'm going to do here with this pumpkin. When both sides are I'm done, going to open it up and pull out the seeds, Next, the seeds. roast it, and go through this full process here as they have. And um, then I'm going to put it on the baking sheet and um, and then put it in the oven, make it soft and ready. And this is the part that I found very interesting. And the kitchen smells great. Oh, and if you're wondering, you can absolutely do this with other winter squashes. Yeah, so now I have all those butternut squash, so I can do this with the butternut squash too. I don't have a food processor, but I have a Nutribullet and I'm going to use that and blend and make it smooth and use it to make my pumpkin pie. Easy homemade pumpkin puree ready for your Now isn't that nice and easy? Be sure to check out our pumpkin pie recipe video. Yeah. Happy baking. Thanks for watching. If you love this video, we have lots more. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and say hi on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Because I've never done this before, I had to definitely go on YouTube and find a, um, a video on how to puree the pumpkin. And so I really like their inspired style recipe. Ooh, this came out pre pretty easy. Um, their way of doing it. So I'm going to just cut this pumpkin in half.
Wow. That's what it looks like inside. You can see all those seeds too. So I'm going to scrape off out the seeds. And um, I might just roast these seeds. And we'll have pumpkin seeds as well. So <clears throat> let me get a spoon. I think my hand might be easier. Trying to do it so fancy. It's a lot of seeds. Could you think of, think about it? Each of these seeds comprise a pumpkin plant. I think I'm going to save some of these seeds too to, to plant in the garden next year. That's one down. Here's the other side. Oh, thank God for my instant tools. Thank God for my ready-made tools, my hands <laughs> and fingers. Look at those seeds. Hopefully this will be enough pie filling. Hopefully this would be enough pie filling to fill the pie. Maybe I should have chosen a bigger one, but we'll work with what we have. Alright, so I scooped it out. Look at all of these seeds. Wow. I could possibly have pumpkins growing all throughout my yard next year. Pumpkin vines, that is. <laughs> wow, next year I could probably have a whole lot of pumpkin plants and pumpkin vines growing throughout my yard next spring. Planting these seeds. Okay, let me not get distracted by the seeds. Okay, so I have them halved and I'm going to just put some um, salt on it. Just try and get it to fit. There we go. And then now I'm going to just put it in the oven. I think I'm going to put it to bake at 350 and just leave it there. So I've just finished roasting my pumpkin seeds and also my pumpkin puree the pumpkin. But um, here are the seeds. And let me try it out. So let me try it out. The pumpkin seeds. Mmm. Very crunchy. <laughs> so I I turned it over so that you could see what it looks like in the inside after it's been baked. So it's nice and soft and tender. And what I'm doing is actually just scooping out the inside here. Scooping it out and pouring it in to this bowl. Just kind of, it's so easy to manipulate here. So I've scooped it out and 
and um, that's what it looks like and here it is in the bowl I'm going to put the rest of it in the bowl and we'll work from there there was even some like sugar I think from it do you see that very sweet very good I used my Nutribullet RX to puree the pumpkin and to create the pumpkin filling and it wasn't that difficult I just put it in there and let it blend and I had a nice smooth product of pumpkin so that I can make the filling. So stay tuned for the rest of the process of making the pumpkin pie. Well, I ran out of pie crust and um, so I decided I'm gonna try out my own pie crust. So I had some almonds left back and I had butter, flour, and um, I just kind of mixed it together and created this like crumble with some sugar as well and put it at the bottom of the pie pan and it's going to become my own creation <laughs> so <laughs> I just put it together I'm lining the bottom I'm going to add the pumpkin puree within the puree I'm going to put a sweet condensed milk some cinnamon, salt, and a little bit of this ground cloves just to give that pumpkin-y flavor. So we'll see what it, it tastes like. Um, it's something new, something different. And uh, if I'm the only one eating it, fine. But I believe it's going to taste good with some ice cream on top. So let me get busy. So I put the pumpkin puree in the bowl and now I'm going to add this can, 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk inside. In it goes. Wow, that's pretty. So I've added in the, the milk and I'm mixing it up with the pumpkin. Now I'm going to add in some cinnamon and also some of these other ingredients. I think a tablespoon would be good. So it could be real cinnamon. -y. But I'm only going to add just a little bit of um, clove, just one little dash. Yeah, that's enough. And some salt. that's enough salt too so that's what it looks like it smells delicious if anything it smells good so I'm just gonna mix this up and blend it in real nice and then put it in the pie plate the oven is already on so this is what we have here uh, the mixture the pumpkin filling mixture mixture uh, this is what we have here the pumpkin filling and it's inside of my original pie crust and I'm going to pop it in the oven at 375 
let it bake for about an hour or so and we will see what comes out um, I believe it's going to taste good it's going to be different and um, it has to taste good because it already tastes the filling tastes delicious with the condensed milk the puree and all of the different seasonings I put in the, the cinnamon but I also added some ginger in it too just to give it a little kick and um, I think it's going to taste good especially with some vanilla ice cream on top everything tastes good with vanilla ice cream on top <laughs> this is going to taste good too well let's put it in and we'll wait and see for the results of this original pumpkin pie. Well, I've completed the pie. It is done. Yes, here is my pumpkin pie for this Thanksgiving Day celebration. From garden to table, my little pumpkin is now a pumpkin pie that we are going to enjoy and yes I have my original crust here and um, that little hole is that I was testing it out to make sure that it was complete in the middle but it looks good and I believe it's going to taste delicious with a little ice cream on the side um, it's going to be a wonderful dessert treat for Thanksgiving well happy Thanksgiving Here is the, the pie, and I'm going to eat it now. Mm. It tastes really good. I am so pleased with this process here. Wow. I think she has a biased pr preference for apple pie. It's okay. So, Karen, it's okay. It's only okay? Yeah, it's okay. I've already tasted it before, but now I'm going to taste it in front of you. It is very, very good. strong almond taste because of the almonds in the crust and then you could taste the other seasonings it may need a little bit more nutmeg because I didn't have nutmeg to put in it pumpkin seasonings come forth like the cinnamon and the almond so it tastes really really good I'm enjoying it and it's definitely delicious with the ice cream For my first pumpkin pie, straight from my garden, this is spectacular. I'm enjoying it. Thank you for watching. Bye.
welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Dr. Katherine Constant, and I am the author of the book, Lady Wisdom Speaks. Lady Wisdom Speaks. This book is full of words of encouragement and peace and joy, and it also gives you the information from the book of Proverbs about how to be wise. Hallelujah. Wisdom is the principal thing. Now, these are not my words per se. The, the Proverbs are from the Bible, but I give a little commentary on what I think they mean. And then I leave a space for you to write down what thoughts come to your mind and what is it saying to you so that you can recall them later on on a later date. And then I give you a prayer and also I give you a place where you can write your prayer and what you want God to do for you. Yes, just go to my website and you'll see uh, it there. It's at Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy, we believe, we believe .com. That's Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy, we believe .com. Yes. Now, the word for today is healing words, healing words powerful words. Your words carry weight. Your words carry power. So you need to go on out there and speak words of faith. Speak words of life. Speak words of encouragement to others around you and those that are in your vicinity. And speak words of life to those that are in your sphere. Your sphere of life. Everyone has an area, a territory that they cover. And you can either speak life into that territory or you can speak words of death. But we want to speak words of life. That We want to speak words of life that are uplifting. Well, in my book, Lady Wisdom Speaks, there's a verse that actually goes with that. And it is number 47 in my book. It's called A Word of Encouragement. It says, Anxious hearts are very heavy, but a word of encouragement does wonders. Proverbs 12, 25. And then Lady Wisdom asks, what kind of influence are you giving? Have you ever been depressed and someone came with a word of encouragement? The person was able to help you to see the situation in a different light. Your perception was so dark and full of anxiety but as soon as he or she made that particular comment, it made you stop and adjust your thinking. Words of encouragement carry that kind of influence. Words are powerful. I heard a preacher say, life and death are in the power of the tongue. If we know how influential our words are to the people who love us, we will probably be more careful of what we say when we say it and why we say things. Our words can uplift or destroy a person's confidence. That is why we should not put our confidence in others, but in the Lord. And this is so true. And I know you've experienced times when someone has said something really hurtful to you and that, that word just hurt you so much. And it made it hard for you to recover. But then someone else came along and they negated those words. They said something powerful. They said, oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you have a great smile. Oh, you're so smart. And it changed that negative word into a positive word. And it set and changed your atmosphere so that you were then moving from an anxious heart, a heart of pain and disbelief to a heart of joy, full of love and understanding. And you were then able to move forward in whatever it is that you wanted to do because of that one word, the power of the word, the power of the word of encouragement. Now, as I told you before in my previous video, that I was watching Joel Osteen, and he had a, a, se a, a session on healing words, healing words, and he was talking about his wife, Victoria, and how she was walking through the um, church, and she happened to see this woman, and she said to the woman, oh, you are so beautiful. And then she kept on walking and, you know, entered into the sanctuary and was sitting there. But then later on, about a couple of weeks later, 
Joel uh, was in the meet and greet section and this woman came back and went to him and spoke to him and told him how she had been going through a divorce. She wasn't feeling well. She didn't feel encouraged. She was feeling ugly. And when Victoria said, oh, you were so beautiful, how it just changed her whole thinking. And then every time she said, every time those negative words came in her mind, she thought of the positive words that Victoria had said to her. And Victoria's words were able to help her to change her thinking and to feel positive about her life. And so I just want you to be encouraged because Lady Wisdom also speaks about encouraging words. Let me read that again to you. Lady Wisdom, she says in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 12, 25, TLB, anxious, anxious hearts are very heavy, but a word of encouragement does wonders. Your words, your words of encouragement can do wonders in someone's life. Yes, and let us start to say healing words, words of encouragement to others. And we will see that this Christmas season is going to be one of the best Christmas seasons ever for us. We're going to see blessings unfold. We're going to see things open up for us because we are changing the atmosphere around us. We're spreading goodness, kindness, and love towards others. Be blessed. Oh, I can feel the blessings already. Be blessed because things are going to change. We're going to see difference. We're going to see a difference happening in our lives today. We're going to see communities changed. Hallelujah. The blessings are flowing in the mighty name of Jesus. So I bless you today. I bless you. May the Lord bless you. May his face shine upon you. May he give you his peace, his shalom, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Share it with a friend. Ask them to join you on the challenge. Yes. And then I want you to comment down below. Hallelujah. Just comment on, on what it felt like to participate in that challenge, to spend to share a good word with someone, to spend time with others in giving them good words. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm so excited because I think this is going to be a great challenge. Hallelujah, this is going to be a great Christmas. Tell someone about Lady Wisdom Speaks. Yes, I am trying my best to bless you with positive, good words. You know, this is something that I really want to see. I want to see you grow in the Lord. And I want to grow in the Lord too. This is helping me as well. So let us grow together in the Lord. So share this video with others and share Lady Wisdom Speaks. Hallelujah. And then again, remember that Lady Wisdom says that you are wonderful, you're beautiful, you're God's gift to the world. So go on out there and shine and let the world know that Jesus Christ is Lord. Shine, 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 shine. A Christmas blessing for a joyful season. I speak a Christmas blessing of peace and prosperity for the season of joy. May the Lord bless and keep you and your family. May the Lord make his face shed light upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord watch over you and your loved ones, protecting you. May the Lord give you his peace during this Christmas season. God bless you with abundant love, faith, and hope for the coming new year. 
Amen. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. Be blessed. Remember to subscribe to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy on YouTube. Be blessed.